profiles on this, there's nothing. Switch back, so I'm just backing out of this, but yeah, you can have a first thing there. Yeah, 10-4. So we got our uh, 2019 Piston Bully 400 Park Pro. Sweet. 3.3 Cummins diesel, tier four. Damn right. Are, uh, <laughs> How many horsepower? So, uh, this one's 400 horse, 1600 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> My kind Do of machine. Undercarriage inspection here, make sure nothing's falling off, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Check it all out, make sure nobody ran into anything that I'm gonna get blamed for. <laughs> yep. Shake some shit around a little bit. <laughs> oh wow, look I at this. I like slip. to do that to make sure it's not like about to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> that could potentially happen if it was loose or something. It's happened, yeah. Like the bolts back out. <laughs> shit. And then you're just dragging it by the hoses. <laughs> not good. <laughs> really, really bad. Really bad. <laughs> Oh man. Anyway. So, uh, Stuart, what part, what ski resort am I at right now? Yeah, we're at Park City Mountain Resort, Vail Resort here. Largest ski area in North America. Wow. And it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, what a machine. I've never even seen one of these up close. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> it's like nothing I've ever dealt with. <laughs> the most unique machine there is, I think. Yeah. So yeah, we'll do a little, got our hydraulic oil there, it's red, the color, they use red, mainly because it's visible if you got a leak in the snow. Good. That's the main reason. Smart. Got our oil, engine oil dipstick here. Oh, right there. Definitely a bit low, but eh. we're only going not very far. <laughs> it feels a little warm still from huh. this morning, I guess. No kidding. Big engine. So yeah, these cats, they're tracking us. I have like a, I have a key, and each of these snow cats has a satellite unit in it. So it fully tracks your movements, your mm -hmm. engine characteristics, your optimal RPM, like how you're running the cat, how much uh -huh. of the time you're spending blading or in reverse and forward. Oh boy. So they can look at a sheet like what we're doing all night. Oh man, gotta do it right. <laughs> no slacking off. It won't let you not put your key in, it'll just beep at you incessantly. Until oh yeah. Uh-huh. Piston boy. Still 73 degrees from this morning. How crazy is that? Oh, wow. How many hours was it sitting? Maybe... It's hard to say. They may... I mean, it had to have been sitting since 9 a.m. now. Wow, since 9 a.m. and it's still still warm. <laughs> Look at this thing. Crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. Here it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hard to get in these things. Yeah, you kind of have to open the door first and then oh, climb okay. up. Wow, nice bolsters on the seat. Decent. This one's a little better though. Oh wow. <laughs> Sports car. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Alright, in the snow cat we go. So I am gonna have to ask you to wear your seatbelt. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh my zipper. No! Oh. Look at this. So anyway, right now I'm adjusting my joystick setting. There are five different configurations for you can, you know, have the buttons do different different functions depending on how you like it. Wow. I've got my one that I like. So is this a fighter jet? <laughs> Look at that thing. Pretty oh cool. Gosh. Yeah. Pretty a lot going on there. Wow. So cool. <laughs> throttle right there. What a machine. What a machine. It won't let me throttle. I think your door's open. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give her a nice, like just follow through. You don't have to do it hard. Just like follow through. Cool, yeah, we'll be here for another couple minutes letting her warm up. But yeah, so there's the tiller. That's called the tiller. Uh, you can see it has a rotating bar. You see that sharp little tiller bar, it's called? 
Oh, down Carota below? Tiller, yeah. Yeah, so that yeah. That thing spins around and processes the snow. Oh, wow. So it like creates small, tiny chunks, and then the cones on the back are what make the corduroy. No. So good. you got these little things on either end. Those are some smoothers for the oh, edge. Oh, cool. Those are called dumbo ears. Nice. Those are the dumbo ears. Love it. You don't want to rip those off on shit. And then this whole thing goes back and forth like. Oh, uh, wow. This and thing. And. This see. is like some horseshoe crab kind of it goes thing. goes way up. Out of the way if you're doing some stuff. But yeah, so tell her. Main thing is don't run that into stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's how most people hurt snow cats, is uh, backing into things with that thing. Oh, yeah. It's really delicate. <laughs> it looks expensive. Yeah, wicked. <laughs> anyway, then we got the blade on the front here. And this thing's a 12 way blade. So wow. it moves in all aspects like that. And then it's got these wings. Wow! So <laughs> what a vehicle! This... Away the snow, and it also has built-in forklift for Terrain Park. Dude. So if I back up, you can see the forklift. Oh there. yeah! Wow, look at that. See, so if you're like, pick, that's how they move rails around and stuff. They just pick them up with that. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> it's got a 12-inch sub under your seat. No kidding. Uh, it bumps. So you can party while you can. Yeah, you can definitely. Oh party. wow! Incredible. So yeah, when you're grooming along, it's all that stuff in the front and all that stuff in the back the whole time. You're keeping track of both at once yep. or controlling both? Wow. Indeed. Heated mirrors, wow. windows all the way around. Oh, uh, sweet. Wow, yeah, I guess they've got to be. And this is built to <laughs> covered in tons of snow, obviously. Oh, yeah. Potentially. Yeah, and if you leave the sunroof open, the people after you get real pissed. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> I bet. Beautiful. And we're just warming her up. Warming her up, yeah. Just gonna set up some arm mast, arm ergonomics here. Gonna wow. Wow. Like it. Fully adjustable, you know. Yeah, I've never really thought about these vehicles, but I've got to say I'm impressed by the amount of stuff that's going on. <laughs> the hellest, dude. I guess it, it makes sense. All the trophy on both sides of the mountain are down there. That's our go, right there. Sweet. <laughs> She's only at 109 though, so we'll give her another two minutes or oh, okay. so. Okay. Can you rev it up in neutral? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Sounds good. That's the 1500. There's also a foot throttle. Oh, wow. You awesome. don't really ever use that, though. Some people yeah. do, but I don't really. Wow. How cool. So you can adjust the tiller cut so that there's like that adjusts how deeply it's cutting mm. into the snow. So depending mm, on if the yeah. conditions are soft or hard, you have to adjust that. Okay. So you can cut through the snow more or less. Like when it's icy, you need to try to cut as much as possible to soften it up. Uh, okay. On a banana. Ultra mega light action. Right now though, it's... I try to hold off on the lights as long as possible. Holding off on your lights messes up on your long distance visibility mm. when it's low light like uh, okay. this. Okay. I see. But once it gets to be actual nighttime, it's incredible. Having yeah. These lights, you know, like the, you can see every contour in the snow. Oh yeah. Make it dead flat, like. Whoa. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to like do a little bit of everything, like actually groom something, like corduroy, yeah. and then we'll like push snow and build their own a little bit, and then we'll just drive around. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. We got a good night for it. Good stuff. So we're at 114 here. Like give her a little fast idle. Yeah. Oh, sweet. A little fast sweet. idle. Yeah. Get that Cummins warmed up. Yep. Yep. The Cummins 8.3, my favorite Cummins. Oh, yeah? This is the one I was telling you about last time. Oh, yeah. It's a total beast. It is it's a total beast. beast. 16. Extremely reliable. Sweet. 1,600 foot pounds to the tracks. <laughs> sweet. Well, you got your seatbelt done? Yep. Nice. Ready to go. We'll do the warning lights though for the base area. Oh, okay. Warn, warn the common man. Cool. The hydraulics are cold right now. It's funny. There's like a delay. You let off and it keeps going uh, for a second. Yeah. It's like really. It's funny when you like pull right out and you try to do something and all of a sudden the blade's just moving by itself. Oh yeah. Still, you know, oh boy. You let off. You lose all your control. Uh -oh. But that'll warm up in like five minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna put that tiller down. Oh yeah. Make some corduroy. Check that out back there. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. So, yeah, let's rip. We're on a mission. Yeah. Got work to do. Full speed right here. Sweet. What's it do? 12 or something? Look at that corduroy, Dad. This oh, is wow. really good stuff, dude. Cold. Look at that. This dream come true. It's brand new. Wow. So, the whole time, 100% of the time, 
you're skimming the ground with your blade trying to break up the snow in front of you. Okay. The whole time. Okay. It's crazy. When I realized that, when I first started snow catting, I was like, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> yeah. like, that's insane. Yeah. Check out that corridor. That's the best I've seen all season. Wow. Cold temperatures, dude. It's yeah. Like, just right. Dream. Here, let's see. Keep Put your thing back there. No, not any better. Oh. Yeah. Wow. What fun. <laughs> Seeing this track spinning is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that track. Cruising along right now, just grooming a little bit, but graveyard shift grooms all of this, so we're just traveling Good. basically. Good. Just gonna cruise right up the middle of the run, which is a rare luxury actually. Yeah. <laughs> Have a uh, point of view, no consequence. Yeah. Because it's early in the season. Uh, no, just because like this, this is all stuff the graveyard shift grooms. Oh, they okay. groom at the last moment, so it's soft for uh, all the kiddies, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. But, like, if you groom stuff and then it sits for a while, it gets really hard. Oh, okay. So they try to groom all the green runs. This is a green run. They groom those like last in the morning. Yeah. You know, like 6, 7 a.m. So it can soft for people that have no scale, you know. Oh, cool. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, so they're going to come wow. and groom this whole thing again. So I'm just chilling. Sweet. <laughs> it's going straight. But yeah, I'm going to blade it out and try to make it flatter as I'm going. Yeah. It's, it's hard in this light. It's flat light right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can start to see some snow curling in that blade. You see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, pushing some snow. Always be pushing. I'm going to keep pushing it. <laughs> yeah, check out that snow. So we're just like creating our own. We're grading right now. This is grading. Oh, okay. Know? So we're pushing with the plow in the front. Pushing then, with the plow and then, yeah. Then we're processing making a nice. The back. Yep, there we go. Wow. Well, first time back on a ski mountain in the snow. I'm not on skis, though. <laughs> you smell the smell? I oh, smell it. A little, rub sure. little rubber smell, a little yeah. rubbery. So this, this thing's nearly brand new, but it's got a... This one is one year old. It oh, has yeah. 2,000 hours on it. 1998. Almost 2,000. Wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. A lot, of, a lot of hours, I guess. A lot of hours. 16 hours a day, 140 days a year. These things get worked. Damn. Worked. No wonder they cost a lot. They have to engineer the shit out of these things. Oh, yeah. So much, right. so much hydraulics. See how there are bumps right there? I'm just like taking them out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smooth that right out. No. Yeah, that's awesome. So this is the hard part, the blading. That's yeah. like what takes years to learn. Like yeah. making flat surfaces. So you're just like adjusting it as you go based tiny, on? Tiny adjustments and cut, yeah. yeah. If I curl it forward, there are really sharp teeth. So if I curl it forward, the teeth bite in more. Uh, it goes down. Oh uh, yeah. And if I curl it back, it goes up. So uh, I'm not pushing down and up. I'm rolling the blade forward to engage the teeth. Oh wow. So like a tiny bit. This is right on the edge right now. So if I go forward like that much, all of a sudden yeah. it starts cutting like, oh, like yeah. crazy. Okay, so you can basically feel, you can feel where it needs to be? I can feel it, yeah, it's totally my feel. And it took me until probably the end of my second year doing it where I could like feel it pretty well. Okay. Now that I'm in year seven, it's like pretty much natural. Yeah. We'll see, wow. still not compared to the guys that have been doing it for like 20 years now. Yeah, yeah. But you get to a point and you know, it's, I mean, the snow quality right now is incredible. This yeah. is like, this, this is packed powder, you know? This is, if this, yeah. this is like almost as good as it gets every day on the East Coast, you know? Like, this is... Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. There we go, got the lights on. Look at these conditions, dude! Yeah, yeah, even I can tell this is some nice stuff. Oh, yeah. People carving turns. Yep. I'm like, I'll, I'll take her up. We're running at 1500 RPM right now. I'll take it up to 18 real quick. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it goes 
faster. A little bit of extra speed, but not worth it. It's out of the efficiency of, it, of it the Cummins. Is, it majorly affects efficiency, yeah. Wow. This is peak torque, actually. Uh -huh. Is that that zone? And we're at how many RPMs? We're at 15? We're at 1500 right now, yeah. 1500 RPMs. About cool. 1500, 1570. Okay, cool. That There's a just... digital readout right there that's a little more angry oh, than sweet. the gauge. Oh, look at all that. So we're going to plow some stuff uphill right here. This will be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Plowing. There's baby, baby moguls forming here. Yeah, yeah. So look at that. Like, see them? Yeah, yeah. After one oh, minute, wow, so look at that. Just like, rack. Think it can slow down. Let's take a good right there. Can't really see it too well, but dead flat, dude. Dead yeah. flat. Yeah. Look nice. Nicely done. Yeah, 14 foot wide blade to push that much snow uphill takes some power. Dude. Yeah. It's insane. These things get run at peak output the whole time. The whole their whole wow. lives pretty much. Amazing. You know, like it's <laughs> it's just nuts how like well they last. Yeah. I'm sure part of it is there's never dirt or dust or anything to deal with. True, it's yeah. Huge factor. So they get quite a few years, a few seasons out of these? They get about Vale's policy is they try to get rid of them after 8 to 10,000 hours, is what I've heard, which that's about oh. four seasons, four to five. Yeah. But they'll last quite a while longer. Oh, yeah. Some of them have. Our oldest cat here when I got here, which was right before Vale, had about 16,000 hours. That was pretty hammered. Wow. The yeah. whole thing was just like, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow. Are any of them pre-emissions? Do any of them like roll coal? Oh yeah, dude. They, they have one that rolls mad coal. <laughs> I'll show it to you at the shop. It's called the it's the Prinoff Beast. It's old. <laughs> and uh, it's actually the largest and most powerful snow cat produced. It's got a cat, Ooh. C13, I believe it's called, so that's a 13 liter. This is only an 83, so oh, yeah. wow. But uh, that one's 550 horse and 2300 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. Does, <laughs> does that have an efficiency meter on it? Uh, it does. Oh, it does? <laughs> yeah. So this one, in my an average shift, I would say I generally burn between 45 and 50 gallons of diesel in this cat. Wow. In that cat, I burn 65 to 70. All right, so a, a lot more, but still not double. But it's six feet wider, so you can get more there stuff done. On the right run, you're like, you're more productive, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, but that's other awesome. runs, you're like, oh man, am I gonna get stuck right now between uh, these two trees? Oh wow. Uh, what? How much diesel do these things hold? Uh, this has a 70 gallon tank. In it. Okay. Basically enough for one 10 hour shift. Cool. Like last night during my 14 hour shift, I had to fuel up. Oh, okay. And gotcha. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. Uh. Runs open right now. We're gonna be in closed terrain the rest of the night. Sweet. Oh yeah. I, I oh. do wish I was gonna be grooming something out. Like, you know, it's, it looks so sick. Just like perfect. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, conditions are just so good tonight. So good. Yeah. This, this, I mean, we haven't had conditions like this yet. Yeah. I mean, it's about to snow 40 inches. It's gonna be insane. We have two runs open. I bet in four days we're gonna have 100 runs open. Wow. Damn. A lot of work to do. Yeah. That's why I told Kayla I don't think I'm going to have Thanksgiving off, unfortunately. Ah, uh, damn. So I was too. That's alright. So there's Deer Valley over there. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Our cabin is like directly on the, like, over that hill. On that, like, mile. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Extremely close. Always plowing. Always. Always. Flat, flattening, flattening, flattening. The skiers, you know how it is, like braking bumps, yeah. you know, moto ruts, everything. Yeah. It's, it's it's basically a combination of like washboard and ruts. The whole mountain. Yeah. Right there, skiing. Yeah. <coughs> a lot of work to be done. No wonder skiing costs so damn much. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> 50 gallons of diesel. Pushing oh, yeah. a plow up a hill every day. Oh yeah, twenty <laughs> so, of them a night too. Oh, twenty of them a night, unreal. So a thousand gallons of diesel the mountains going through. Wow. <laughs> Do they have any electric ones of these that run on solar? There's a hybrid one now. No and, uh, kidding. It's uh, 
it's a diesel engine that runs a generator yeah. and then From generates power. Electric motors, yeah. No kidding. Uh, Is that one better on gas? Or are there drawbacks to to the hybrid one? It's in the early phases. Yeah. It's, it's moderately unreliable, we'll say, uh, uh, and really expensive. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this thing just climbs up whatever. Yeah, this will do about a 30 degree slope. The winch cats will do about a 45 degree oh. slope. Oh, wow. Which is insanity. Then you're actually, then you're actually using your four point harness, yeah. like down you know, like literally Shoot. hanging Damn. on your harness. Damn. Damn, just powering up such a steep hill in the snow. I've, yeah. I've certainly never Here's felt a, this sensation before. The chronometer side and front leg. Oh, no what kidding. Is this, 20 degrees, 18. Uh, uh, probably gonna hit like 20. 17, right 18, 19, 20. Wow, what an advanced machine, 21 degrees it hit. Steep. The traction is inspirational. <laughs> Jeez, look at that ditch right there. Ooh, oh, whoa. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that would have been brutal. <laughs> and the whole goal of what I'm doing tonight is to try to drive super easily, because if I spin the tracks, I'll kick up mad dirt, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Which dirt is cancer for ski runs. Okay. Dirt, anytime dirt's in a run, A, it never leaves, and B, it just collects sun and melts the snow. Uh, no so good. Like, it's cancer, no good. that's what it is. It's so like this, rust for a ski area. So there. this thing has the power on sometimes to spin the tracks, depending on oh, condition. <laughs> It'll break them loose we'll, like crazy? We'll spin them, dude. Oh, uh, yeah? Dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can, I got stuck in one of these last year on flat ground, dude. I was pushing such a huge pile. Damn. And, uh, the middle of the pile was like wet, like a pond. Uh, like, it got super warm and it kept blowing snow. Damn. And I was pushing like as much snow as I could. Uh. I hit the center of the pile and just sank like two feet. Oh no. I was fully stuck on flat ground. I got pulled out by a different, uh. different cat. It was probably like. That's if, funny. If I was going to be embarrassed, it was probably the most embarrassing moment. Uh. I just don't care. Yeah. But, Luckily, everyone's done it at least yeah. once. Like, got stuck on flat ground, but yeah. people get these things insanely stuck. No kidding. Oh Ugh. yeah, trying to plow snow uphill and they'll spin, and then it'll bottom out. Oh and you're, no. you're just sit bottomed, you know. Oh no. There's nothing you can do. Sometimes you can like use the blade to like push yourself out if you're lucky, but like not usually. All right. You so. just have to like not get stuck, you know. Oh wow. But yeah, no, this thing will spin track like you would not believe. Oh, okay. I guess way more power than it, than it knows what to do at all times. So. Oh wow. And it has it automatically gears down, you know. It oh will, yeah. Uh, you, I mean, you can't bog it down. Like it will just spin track. Yeah. No oh wow. There's the shop. Eleven bays Oh wow. This is a tall gas station thing. Yeah, but <laughs> later in the winter, you're literally digging it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Base. In New York. All right, so I just need to remember the hours every time I do this. Uh, One nine nine eight. Not, not a hard one to remember. <laughs> Not gonna Olympics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where does he go? How the heck does this work? gallons a night. No joke. A lot of stuff to turn around here. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. They're like maybe 10 bolts. Do these ever like throw a track and it comes off? Yeah, they'll rip the belts sometimes oh. every once in a while. Oh boy. That's why they keep them out of the sun. Uh, here we go. Pulling into the big bay. This ain't no truck shop. Hard to believe this fits in any building. I know, dude. Look at the clearance on the rear right now. It's oh, wow. It's tight. Just barely. I have to like shimmy it to get in. Oh, wow. Like oh, my God. Yeah, you do. Like the back. Check it out. Like dude. you can just move it over. You know? Oh, yeah. Spatial awareness at this job. <laughs> Sweet shop. This is so cool. A shop full of 
full of cats. Oh, and the, the catch. The cab, the cab just flips up and the engine's right under there, huh? Yeah. Sweet. What a design. What a machine. <laughs> Unbelievable. Feels cold. It's made yeah, fully good. cold. Excellent. Full of oil too. Clean. Cool. Oh, Seventy yeah. hours on that oh. oil. Oh wow. So yeah, it, it's not. It's a diesel, but it's not fully black yet. <laughs> it is still crazy though. These tier fours, like two hundred hours, it's just black. Yeah. Fully black. Oh man, every diesel just can't win. <laughs> Forty degrees still. Okay, still cool. Still holding a tiny bit of heat. What do you know? Ready? Yep. Almost cold. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Oh yeah, they do. Wow, what amazing machines. I love the racing numbers. We didn't have those last year. If they're oh yeah. Everybody else is like, I hate them now. I'm going to know who I am. Ah. True. Like, Who's in 381 right now? <laughs> oh man, how cool. Shall I hop in? So unlike a car, snowcats have a lot of windshield to keep clean, and I guess the, the extremely hard water causes a lot of uh, mineral buildup if you drive under a snow gun or something, so hard to keep them clean, I guess, but very important. Let that fall off for a minute. <laughs> Not all glamorous. Cool. It's almost got like an Alcantara looking, like fake Alcantara <laughs> fabric. Compared to last night, last night was like Rowdy dude, like <laughs> frantic. Like the run had to open, you know. Oh it wow! Like, it's just me and Rick here for 14 oh, hours wow. of snow catting, getting Damn. the run open. Damn! Now it's we're like, that... opposite tonight. Anyway, yeah, so we got some man-made snow here, snow piles. This will all become a ski run like tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh yeah. There's... Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, something's fucking wrong. Uh oh. or something. Oh well. That happens. Damn. Like there's mad like every time you click one of these buttons it actually a servo motor that opens or closes a hydraulic valve. Wow. So that's how they work, you know. So like those valves will get stuck in the cold sometimes. Yeah. It's, still, it's not working yet. Oh, okay. I can't even use the damn thing just oh there it goes. Oh cleared itself out. I mean it's been kind of working but huh. let's just like make sure we're good, you know, before we like search it. Yeah, I always yeah. like trying to just make sure like things are running smoothly and I'm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. All right, so the, the cat's giving us some catitude, but we're gonna, the function, the secondary functions of the joystick are not working while moving, so the, the plow thingy can't be controlled correctly. So I guess there's a master reset button somewhere. We're gonna try that. Like when, like when your modem won't work, you press the little button. So maybe that'll help. No guarantees, but I think it's working. Oh, dude! Working. Not working? Shit. Damn. We got issues. Oh well. It's oh. working now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it can be trusted. So back to the shop, I guess. Back to the shop. Oh well. Okay. Snuck out of the night. <laughs> yep. I think it's gonna work now. Good. I think we fixed it. There was a plug unplugged. <laughs> there we go. It was literally just flapping. Yeah. Like about the fall. Would that still account for it inconsistently working? 
Yeah, it was it was in there, but it was like uh, pulling it out like oh, most God. of the way. Oh, you know? man. It's like it's got like twenty pins, you know. Oh yeah. Like yeah, you got a copy. Two thirds of the way out. They actually break down all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Full time mechanics. <laughs> all right, so that actually didn't work, but one more try. So it's a broken wire after all. Back we go. Luckily, I don't have to walk there because now I have reason to take it to the show. Okay. All right, yeah, so real quick, uh, which model snowcat is this right, thing? So this is a 2010 Prinoth Beast. All right. So, uh, and what a beast it is! Yes, she's it's a, got a 13 liter cat under yeah, the quite under a it. Bit larger than other snowcats, 550 yeah. horse. Whew. Ton 20, of torque. 2200 foot, 2400 foot pounds of torque. Something Woo like boy! That. What a beast! Yeah. Three seats. Quite large. Gonna crank her up. Yeah. All right, just let me let me get back there. Alright. So Stuart's getting the old booster pack over there. Looks like we're all hooked up. Glow plugs ready. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's a little loose. There's some play. Yeah. Um, all right. So there it is. Oh yeah, climate control up on the ceiling. There we go. 82 high. Did you hear that? What was that? Some louver opening a baffle or something? What was this? Yeah. There. <laughs> that was that cool. That sounds like yeah. a baffle yeah. opening. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> That was sweet. Okay, there it is. Cool. Now we're talking. Way more room for our stuff. That's cool. Oh, yeah. The 13 liter can. All the stuff. <laughs> like, the blade's the same width, you know, as the wow. can. So we're like. How wide is it? I think this is 22 feet wide. Oh, sweet. With full extension of the oh, waves, yeah. which is what we have to. The wings. Oh, yeah, there we go. This thing's like an airplane. Amazing. Well, it's pretty cool. It's pretty sleek. <laughs> Unfortunately, this particular one's like flapped out. Yeah. That's like the biggest downside of this yeah. car. Yeah. You know, you know how things got. Yeah. How many hours on this one? Uh, not even that many. Six, six thousand eight hundred. Pretty, pretty decent. Okay. And it's about ten years old. You got so. a seatbelt thing figured out there? Yep. I'm all buckled up. Nice. Yeah. I got the good seatbelts. Not great in this either. Got the good bolsters at least on my seat. This is the very cat that had the head of the, the windshield. <laughs> Oh my god. So, so someone failed to wear their seatbelt. They got jolted forward due to what? Ejected. Uh, there's a door sensor down there that senses, you know, letting the doors open. It applies the parking brake if the doors open. 
And yeah. it's, I think, more like it's supposed to not release the parking brake if the door's open, yeah. but it will actually apply it. And the sensor <laughs> came unscrewed, and homie was going downhill full speed, and the parking Woo. brake slammed on, and he went through. Oof. Unreal. Good thing he's all right. Yeah, like his body didn't go all the way through, but you know, he left like an, an indentation in the windshield. Safety well, glass, you know. Skiers of hard heads, right? Yeah, this kid's a brute. <laughs> too. He's, he's face like, through the windshield, no kidding. Gotta fuel up again. Look. Oh! going on there. No, what was that? It's a snowcat towing a broken down side by side with oh. tracks on it. Oh wow, look at this. Fill her up. So away we go. And it hauls ass dude. Way faster. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah, we're hauling. I can I can feel I can feel the torque for sure. This thing's a monster. <laughs> Yeah, the other cab we were in, I think that one weighs about, uh, I want to say like 14,000. Don't quote me on these, but yeah, yeah. somewhere between 12 and 14, and I believe this is more like 20. Oh, okay. But so don't quote me. Yeah. <laughs> Snowmobile. It's so cool, you can just stop when you're climbing a, a hill and start again. Oh. Oh, going to the snow gun. Oh. Oh, yeah, go get that snow gun. Yeah, we even had the frost button above you on the uh, climate control the one at the bottom right. I gotta think for a minute how we're even gonna get there, because this thing doesn't really fit down the narrow cat road uh -oh. to the zone we're going. Oh man. It's so wide. Yeah, that joystick. No wonder you want to start flying helicopters and stuff. You, uh, you already do this. Yeah, it's pretty similar, hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Constant blade adjustments. You see that the whole time. Literally. Oh, yeah. Time. This blade does not feel nearly as good. It's way closer to us, can you tell? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. And it's like, I don't know, the feel. It feels not great. Yeah. It just, I don't know, it's okay. Yeah. Gets it done, gets it done. Oh, yeah, I'm getting steep. Oh, yeah, some snow guns. Sweet. <laughs> wow, this incline is so sick. Yeah. Feels good, eh? Yeah, I've never gone up an incline like this. Not with this much traction. <laughs> wow. Feels amazing. <laughs> yeah, we're getting the vibe here. We're getting the vibe. We'll see if we can... Yeah, it's a whole different world up here in the... <laughs> up on the mountain. Yep. Yeah, we're going up. We're going up. We're getting up toward 9,000 feet. Oh, boy. Right now. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh man. This thing's wide. Like those other cats are fitting on this real nice, you know? Yeah. We're like, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're off the edge. Dude, it's so far over there to that track. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And it's that far to the other one because I'm sitting in the middle. It's yeah. crazy, dude. Five feet wide are like major <laughs> difference. Yeah. And like spatial. Yeah. It also has like kind of a weird hydraulic like jerk sometimes. Oh yeah. I think one of the either a pump is getting stuck or something, but it's it'll it'll try to power in and like one side will get hung up and then it'll catch up to the other one and kinda like jolt forward. Oh wow. Man like this is pretty narrow. Our right track's hanging like three feet off that edge. Oh, oh, <laughs> literally dude, literally. Wow. Crazy. Like right now look oh these guys Bomber, dude. Oh. Somebody was not on their shit. Um, digging out a snow gun? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, buddy. The wind picked up. That's what happens when the wind picks up and all of a sudden the snow gun's blowing yeah. on itself. And so that's where you started digging out the snow guns and yeah. now you do this? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> got me into this my first season of doing that, though. Damn got right. Me, got really, like, a crazy good opportunity to... Cat. Extremely grateful for. Yeah. Yeah, I scoop gelato with an ice cream spoon at work, and this is kind of like. Dude, that. it's literally. <laughs> there's so many things in life that if you can do them, you can also run snow cats. <laughs> like scooping gelato. Yeah. Thanks. And down 
down we go. These things do side hill to a point too, but then they'll like let loose. Oh. And like, yeah. Gnarly sometimes. Whoa. I can't imagine getting loose in a machine like this. Oh my god. It's rowdy. This is track packing like what we're doing today. It, it actually sounds like all fun and games, but it's actually not because you're driving over like f***ed up water bars and dirt and rocks uh, and shit. It's brutal on these things, dude. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah, I see that. Not a lot of snow right here. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> I was honestly expecting a little more, maybe. Oh. Couple this more. is... <laughs> The hot mode. <laughs> they mow a lot of their runs. I guess not this one. Yeah. <laughs> Too steep back here. Maybe. I don't know though. They must mow some pretty steep shit with the desert. Rocks everywhere. They did not track pack this. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, hey Dan, you copy? <laughs> hey, didn't Johnny say that they track packed Bit Mountain Meadows? I feel like we're on a fan boat in the Everglades right now. <laughs> he did, but uh, it didn't look like that to me, did it? No, definitely not. Um, yeah, it's very thin and grassy. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it's looking all the other zones, but there's like so little snow here, it's pretty comical. Look at me. Yeah, for sure. I'll probably splash as much the same. Dude, what? are you... <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Honestly, what I'm doing right now is mowing more so than track packing. <laughs> Literally, dude, look, we're mowing it down, dude. Yeah, we are! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. In that case. Hey, honestly, that might be what we're on the tour to not get down that down on the <laughs> No, yeah, t to be completely honest, it's making a huge difference. Like, there's pretty much nothing left in my path. <laughs> leave a nice surface. What a machine. Freaking track right next to you. It's so cool. So this thing will lock up the tracks and slide if you're too if you're stupid, obviously. Oh, yeah, if you yeah. If you go a tiny bit too fast, you Yeah, you can't let off fully, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. if you go a tiny bit too fast and it breaks loose. Woo. It like all the snow in between the tracks, the grousers uh -huh. they're called, breaks off and shears and slides on the layer of snow underneath oh, and you're just like, no. I mean it's just like, psh, woo. it's crazy dude. Alright, we're going to try to cover some ground here, but like dude, the first time we hit something it's going to be, yeah. you know what I'm saying, all it takes is like one rock, the right spot, and you're Ooh. just like, psh, Ooh. like gnarly dude, like no suspension. So. That one looks gnarly. Oh, oh Jesus. Yes. Wow. What the fuck is that, dude? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, gotta, that's wide. You gotta hit him head on. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, no you angle. Have to, but he'll bend like grass if you don't. Woo. Over the ditch. Woo. Look at that track rolling over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. too bad. Could have been worse. Smooth. Uh, that's each steel track lug. Oh, okay. Like the lugs on the track. Oh, They're cool. called grousers. I don't know why. Yeah. Like that's a bulldozer term originally. Yeah, okay. That's why snowcats are called snowcats, because bulldozers were originally called caterpillars. Oh. Uh, well, you got your caterpillar. Like a lot of people, like a lot of old timers say cat when they mean dozer. Yeah, okay, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you got your cat up there, and like, well, we got a bunch of cats. Yeah. But they actually mean like the bulldozer. Uh, we're going to be doing a load of reversing on this excursion, I hate to say it. Oh uh, yeah, uh oh. <laughs> That's the one downside of this scenario. You have to, you can only take, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't, uh, like, yeah. turn a turn. You have to, we're going to go forward up this run, then backwards all the way up that run, and then oh, forward up the oh, next wow. run that goes that way. You know oh, wow. I mean? Just because, nope. like, if we spin around, we will tear. Uh, fun, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. No wonder you're good at reversing cars, you do it all the time in this thing. Dude, you don't even know. <laughs> Within two inches of ski lifts and shit, with the rear tiller. Oh, like, wow. on the side and in the back, like getting into corners. Damn, yeah, like, dude, two inches. Two inches. <laughs> like, they have a three foot rule, but like, oh, okay, then they're like, on the list, they'll be like, yeah, we got this project, you gotta just go like, clear the snow from by this lift, and you get there, and it's like, touching the lift. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> Crazy. A little bit of extra, dude. What do we got? A drift? Oh. Does that look like a drift? Oh. Maybe uh, somewhere I could potentially turn around. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it, dude. Yeah. This is why they pay me the big bucks, because I go, I do it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. 
other people are like, there's no f***ing way I'm backing up for 15 minutes. And we back up for a long time. This thing has like the most ridiculous climbing ability because yeah. the tracks are so much wider and longer. Yeah. It has, it actually has the lightest footprint. Oh yeah. It's heavier. It yeah, it's so the wide. It's footprint because it's square footage of its tracks. Yeah. Which nice. makes it, honestly, you can do superhuman shit in this thing that you could never do in any other cat. Oh wow. Which is what I love. It likes deep powder. This thing is, like deep powder in this thing, A, isn't as deep because it's massive. Yeah. And B, you can on it. It literally floats, dude. Like, it's oh, so yeah. sick. So we just reversed for 15 minutes, now we're <laughs> going forward again. I'm gonna do a tiny bit and just set my edge right here. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I love that track pulling up the snow. That is the coolest thing. And then it like carries it back. So sick. Alright, here we go for a little jaunt. <laughs> yep. Also visibility. Dude, there's some snow up here, dude. It's all yeah. just drifting in. Best snow in the mountain. Yeah. Every day. Spotlight is the answer. Wow, that's Utah blower right there. Oh, uh, yeah. The greatest snow on earth. Literally. <laughs> this is a crazy cool job. Oh, I'm glad you used oh, the man. Dude, it's, yeah. it's one of the only jobs I could do. Luckily, the summer job we have, Mike and I have, is pretty comparable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, not quite. Great. Nothing will ever be quite as cool yeah. as Snowcast, though. Everyone agrees. I love when you're just... Like somebody got stuck right there. Oh, yeah. I love when you're seated behind some sort of command center, like a drum set or a, a deli or a bar or this or whatever. You just you're at the controls of something really nuts. Totally. <laughs> and the spotlight is just like the coolest part. <laughs> spotlight life, dude. Like yeah. when it snows a lot last year, man, big winter, dude, just lit, living by the spotlight. You're just grooming like this all night. Yeah. Like uh -huh. actually grooming runs though, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Making it look sick and the only way you can see is with the spotlight. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Knowing the runs helps a lot. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the hardest thing at the beginning is like, not only are you trying to learn this machine, but you literally have no fucking idea where any, where you should go at any moment. That's like, what I was wondering. At any moment in time, you could be going the wrong way. Like, over oh. oh, there's Deer Valley, or literally like. Oh, God. Crazy. Crazy edges or like things that are not runs that just look like an opening in the trees and all of a sudden you're just stuck in the woods. That oh. happened last year, some guy just oh. like drove down into the forest. Oh. Thought it was the run. <laughs> Damn. Had to like cut down some trees and go out the bottom. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go up the other edge next time. I'm not gonna reverse the edge. Yeah. That would be a poor decision. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm just telling myself that. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the things I say to myself. All right, don't back up on the edge. Yeah. Don't be a dumbass. Yeah. Fucking drive off the fucking mountain. <laughs> Dude, it's like deep on our left track. We're like spinning right there. Oh wow. This is so much more than driving a car in the snow. This is you're doing <laughs> so many things at once. <laughs> it's it's reality, dude. Wow. And when you're actually grooming, dude, and there's like a lot of shit going on, like yeah. behind you Woo! as well. I can't imagine. It's rowdy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Funnest thing to do. Oh, we're harvesting the drifts. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Making a road. Woo. Oh, my God. This thing's got some power. <laughs> what? This is so sick. I'm hoping for a couple more at the top. Yeah. We need them at the top to open the, uh, the lift. Ah. So I'm the only. There's no snow making up here. Uh, obviously, there's no snow. Yeah. Oh, that wiper is not happy over there. <laughs> no. Are you going to do the move where you reach out? Click it with your hand while you're driving. <laughs> no, unfortunately, if I did the e-brake, would turn on. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Parking brake. Oh uh, well, I guess it makes sense they have those because yeah, there's a deadly track directly outside the door <laughs> <Yes. laughs> with metal spikes on it. Yeah, you'd be so done. Like getting on our bike, snowcat is like the ultimate thing that you never want to happen. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that it happened at Dogenberg to some degree and the heat lived at all is like miraculous. Yeah. The top of the mountain right here, eyes left. Cover up some rocks here, hopefully. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. 
Oh yeah, pushing her now. Struggling. Wow. Yeah. Struggling. Full PSI. That's the worst thing about this cat is the windshield defroster design. Uh -huh. It's not great, so the nights like tonight, snowy, cold, you're uh -huh. just sweating. Like you can never see that mirror for some reason. Like whenever the heat blows, it does yeah. not blow off that, that mirror zone. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it doesn't really get over here either. That's See that snow breaking? That's like an avalanche, but on a flat ground. Oh, whoa. See that breaking oh, yeah, in front of us? Wait, it'll, yeah, it'll like chunks of it are pushing forward. There it is. Oh. Chunks. Oh, yeah. Cohesive oh, snow. Yeah. Wind affected snow slab. That's a snow oh, slab. Oh, that's slab. so cool. That's what forms avalanches. So. That's, that's a decent drift there. Yeah. Yeah, let's take it. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff. Pretty engaging job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I can see that. Of any that I can imagine, honestly. I, it'd be hard for me not to do it, honestly. But darn right. That's, you know you're doing the right but thing. But I'd like to do it more like part-time, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd yeah. Be nice. yeah, I feel you. Part-time for fun rather than like full-time for yeah. being in charge. Yeah, you'll, you'll get there. I'm gonna turn around on this the last time we're here back like way up there and uh, push this down oh wow and like try to build the ski lift ramp oh uh, cool you know what i mean like so people they, getting off the lift yeah see where they get off you gotta like build yeah. that with a uh, snow cat with like snow from this drift this drift is like what provides up here it's really cool uh, okay that's why they have snow fences snow fences gather snow apparently oh, when wow. the brakes gather snow wow so you take the snow from where it is and put it where it's needed exactly sweet exactly Literally. I never, I never really knew what you guys were doing up here. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was being groomed, but yeah, just like move that, that surface there. Like I could groom that. It's been obviously very thin. Yeah. And if it snows four feet, that'll be helpful yeah. for sure. But just getting like that there, uh -huh. like once I track over it, snow goes. Snow is an incredible material. It goes through like a process called sintering, uh -huh. where each snowflake bonds together. Uh, and once that happens through any sort of physical manipulation, whether it be pressure from a snowcat or wind uh -huh. breaking up the beach snowflake or sun, uh, anything like that, and then it becomes a cohesive unit. Oh, wow. So at the very least, what I'm trying to do is track pack the snow. Yeah. Because once the snow consolidates, it centers and gets consolidated, then it's a hard layer, and then a snow cat will have mad traction. Like uh, if this was yeah. four feet of fresh on nothing, yeah. you, you wouldn't even, you'd probably not make it up this. Oh, wow. But because we're doing this and putting a packed layer of snow down, yeah. if it snows three feet, you'll have this layer down here that your uh, cat will bite into. Wow. Bush trimming. Bush trimming. Oh, there it goes. It worked pretty well. <laughs> Not much bush left. Speaking of, oh, that's nice. That's some good footage. Oh, cool. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Moving that snow around. I think this is so satisfying to me because uh, as a child, I toiled endlessly trying to shovel by hand many driveways. Oh, yeah. I just shoveled and shoveled by hand my whole youth, and it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing all this snow move like this is just amazing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The chunks of snow. This is oh, the yeah. spot oh, right yeah, here. If we're going to stop somewhere and take a gander. Yeah. This is the. Okay, so you see the bright light? Yep. You see the faint light? Yep. That's our landlord's house. That's our house right there. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sweet. Off in the distance, there's Heber. Heber, Utah. Okay, good. And then, just over here, there's Park City down there. Looking nice. Listen to that cat, 13 liter. Oh yeah, <laughs> sounds sick. Wow. So we're ending the night with a nice whiteout and it could turn into a, a four footer. Is that right? Well, could be. It's coming down pretty good, decently. Def you're going to be surprised that it's not at least two. Yeah. But, uh, sweet. If we got three or four, it'd be really cool. But, yeah, well, we've got a lot of good work done in this, in this cat. This cat powered cat, 13 liter cat diesel. 